Oh, that's cool. Today we're checking out this smart blind motor. It allows you to have two extra seconds every day. The unit has a built-in battery, Bluetooth, as well as a solar panel, which doesn't do what you'd think. So was it smart or dumb to buy this? Um, we'll figure it out. This is a motor unit, and by attaching this to your wall, you're one step closer to becoming Tony Stark. But we need to check out what it comes with in the box. Inside the box, you get an AC wall charger, a variety of cogs, the blind motor itself, and a solar panel. There's also three M adhesive or screws to secure it and a manual. You also choose a cog that matches your type of blinds that you have. I have a metal pull cord, so I chose this type. The rear of the unit is removable in a quick release bracket fashion, which makes not only attaching it to the wall easy, but removing it as well. And we'll talk about why that's great later on. There's two ports at the base for power and solar, along with the set button. And there's a sticker on the side saying you can't manually pull the cord once the motor's fitted. But there are buttons, so you can use these for quick adjustments. To get clearance for my window seal, I'm gonna trim my blinds pull cord. To achieve this, I'm gonna pull the blinds all the way down, then attach a pull cord joiner. Pull the joiner all the way down to the cog of the motor. This is our trim point and will ensure that the joiner doesn't get snagged in the teeth of the cog. After removing the old pull cord brace, I'm prepping the area with wax and grease remover for the 3M adhesive. Grabbing the pull cord to wrap it around the cog, we can find the new join location and trimming it to size. The cog cover has easy bend and snap tabs, giving us a clean look finish. Then I can simply use the 3M adhesive to secure it to the wall. Okay, so I downloaded the app Blind Engine. It's up on the screen now. Uh, it's got a big plus on it. It says tap the plus to start searching for devices. Scan list. Blind. That's well, come up. That was pretty. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Do not expose it to strong direct sunlight. It's on a. It's on a window. Keep far away from high temperatures. It's on a window in Australia. All wet places. Yeah, that's fine. I don't expect it to be in the wet, but. In the sunlight? <laughs> okay. Okay. Input blind password. Factory default is 8888. It wants you to change the password so no one hacks my blinds. You can see, I'm going to show you here, these are all the options that you can do. There's a quite, quite a variety. I don't know how they all work, but roller shades seem to be pretty simple to me. All right, we need to set our open and close, close blind. How dope is this? That's it. Okay, so now I've gone out of it and back in and now it gives me like a normal blind thing. Oh, I can move it to a percentage. So halfway up. Oh, that's cool. Okay, and then move it all the way up. That's dope. So it doesn't go like all the way to the very top. That's just because I had to trim the chain to make the unit fit on my windowsill. But if you had like a full length, I guess, windowsill or just more like chain length and area, then it probably would work out fine. Okay, so now I want to set up automation with a scene controls at our blind is the device. Blind is all the way up. Oh. I later learned that the scene control are just manual shortcuts that you can select and then set the blind to go to those heights. If you want to automatically raise the blind to a different height at a certain time, you need to go into the device control tab and then go into the blind timing list. It's here that you can set the blind to go to any height at any time on any day. It's really easy to program and these are the automatic height adjustments that it's going to make on a day-to-day -day schedule. Now that's great, but what's not great is the solar panel, and this thing is confusing as all heck to set up. I read many reviews saying that the solar panel doesn't charge the internal battery. I can't easily test this as my window is the only window in the house that doesn't get direct sunlight. But I did do a test to figure out if you would even need it or get any benefits. With the battery at 100%, I unplugged the wall charger and the solar panel. I played a game to keep some sandy whilst I lowered and raised the blind, draining its battery. After 33 lowers and raises simulating 33 days, the blind was at 90% battery. Therefore, 100% gives you around 11 months. That's pretty insane and I don't think at all accurate, but it's the only way I could kind of try and calculate quickly battery usage. But we know in a real world that Bluetooth is going to drain that battery over time and as well as just going to discharge itself over the day. I found a review saying it was actually two to three weeks was their average full charge, but this also is dependent on the motor speed that you set in the app. So my test's not really useful at all. 
So this video goes live, I'm gonna unplug it and let it drain its battery, raising and lowering once every day, and I'll come back and comment down exactly how long it lasted. I want you to leave a comment guessing how many days you think it will take until this goes flat. Anyway, I took the unit and put the solar panel on a window that gets direct sunlight. And after five hours, the battery was still at 90% from after our previous test. So no charging. I also tried to use the solar panel for automatic sunrise and set triggers. You punch in the amount of lux or sun power that you want it to trigger it, but it seems reversed. It would literally close the blind in the middle of the day and open in the afternoon. The app wouldn't let me do it the other way around. So this is only useful if you want the blind to close in the middle of the day, if maybe it's too hot or the sun shines directly in your face and not really great for sunrise or set triggers. So yeah, from my findings, I'm not gonna rely on the solar panel for charging or functionality and it is a much cleaner install with no cables anyway. And I'm happy to remove it every few weeks or months to charge up the unit or however long it lasts. So should you buy it? Well, I was sent this unit from Banggood to review. They're kind of like the Amazon of cheap tech. And they said, pick something out from their store to review on my channel. And I picked this guy because I thought it was pretty interesting. But would I spend my own money on this unit? I think it's like 65 Australian dollars. It's complicated. The solar panel, in my opinion, is a bit of a gimmick. So unless you really need and can figure out the sun rise and set settings, I'd much prefer a pack with just a Bluetooth motor and a wall charger. There's a lot of Wi-Fi options out there, but you gotta remember that Wi-Fi is gonna drain the battery more than Bluetooth would. And do you really need to use your voice to raise and lower your blind if you're automating it at the start and end of the day? I do see a benefit in doing so, because in the middle of the day, you could tell Google Assistant or Siri to raise the blind to 50% or lower to 20%. That's very easy instead of having to go find an app, but this also still has buttons for those intermediate adjustments. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, and if you loved it, sub it. My name's Cam, and I make tech vids, and I'll see you in another one up here or there. Thanks for watching. Bye.